understand how important it is that you take care of you. If you want to help others, you have to take care of you. If you want to provide and do things and, and have, you must take care of you. You have to love you. You have to accept who you are. You have to find your, your superpowers, I call them, and hone in on them and, and, and make them better so that you can help the world. Because we were all here for a certain reason, and that's to give. That's to grow, you know? And I truly believe that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And you know, that, that really is, is the purpose of this, of this podcast is for, for people just to, to understand, you know, you, you refer to it as, you know, the philosophical or, you know, sometimes it's even a theological, you know, mindset that, you know, people just need to understand those things because, you know, the, the nine to five job or entrepreneurship or what have you, you know, whichever road people are on, you know, they still have to have that mindset shift. And you know, that's going to be the difference between you know, abundance and scarcity. And so it's, it's huge. And you know, having that, that change of thought is going to be what enables someone to have a legacy because you can't have the legacy without having the abundance mindset. And if all you're doing is just thinking about, okay, I just need to do one more deal. Or if I just have a little bit more money or something, you know, it's always that, you know, just a little more of this and instead of just focusing on, you know, I've, I've got everything I need, you know, whether whether we're, we're kind of short that month, you know, we have everything we need. You know, we have our family, we have our health, you know, we, we've got, you know, for those that are, are married or have children, you know, they have their family, they have their worth and, you know, part of their legacy is right there in front of them. And so just, you know, changing the thinking, you know, as, or sometimes I'll call it uh, the stinking thinking, you know, because, you know, it's, it's just, you know, the difference of how we look at stuff and it makes so much of a difference. And, I really, you know, with, with our, our veteran community, you know, we, you know, we all signed up to be part of something bigger than ourselves. That's one of the things that makes us uh, very common with each other is that when we, when we enlisted, you know, we, we did it to be part of something bigger and yeah, that, that in of itself is a legacy. And that's the definition of legacy is something bigger than we are. And you're, you know, you're building something that you want to pass to the next person to take it over and make it even bigger that they can pass it to the next person and make that even bigger than it was. I mean, that's, that's the definition of multi-generational legacy is, you know, you want it to be around for 200 years and it'd be bigger then than it is now. And so that, that's really what it's all about. You know, we're, yeah, we're- and, I, and to anybody and to anybody that, that, you know, I, I didn't have an entrepreneur mindset. I didn't know that I wanted to do that. I didn't, I didn't know that, that I, I didn't know any, anything that anything that I'm doing now had zero clue. It just, I just went out and did. So if you're mm-hmm. somebody on the fence about, I don't know, what are people going to think? What are people going to say? It doesn't matter. Look, at the end, in, 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 in the end, we are all here. We all have an expiration date. Mm-hmm. And we make the, the, the use of our time the best way possible. And people don't understand that is they truly believe that they're going to live forever. And that's not the case. We're getting older. And all I wanted to do was just create and do things that, and take a chance. Take, you know what? But the most part, the most important part is I took a chance on me. Right. right? And that, people are so afraid of that. Mm-hmm. You, have to, you have to just go do. So if you're on the fence about creating something, doing something, experiencing something, traveling, do it. Do it. Don't wait until what society tells you, oh, hey, when you retire, when you do, do it now right? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. You have to start living for you now. Uh, do things, whatever's important to you, live for that, but, but, but stand up for it and mm-hmm. go make it happen. If you wait, it's never going to happen. That's true. You, you were mentioning uh, society saying, you know, that's all part of what I have, have dubbed lovingly uh, the big lie. <clears throat> and, and it's because you know, society tells us we have to do that nine to five job. You have to put into this particular thing you have to do this for 40 years and then when you get to retirement you're going to be just a-okay problem is so many people they hit retirement and within five years they've already expired so it's like you've waited your entire life to to get to that point of your second childhood without supervision and then you know just as soon as you get there then then you check out and you know look at all those years wasted so it's oh, it- that's why i call it you know part of the big lie is you know there, there's so many other ways of doing it and you know, living, you know, living for your, your potential is, is a big part of that. And, you know, if, if someone has an entrepreneurial mindset, doing the nine to five job is probably the most agonizing thing they could ever do. You know, do it until you can afford to step out. But as soon as you can step out, you know, certainly, you know, 
you know, make your mark, you know, and, and be at the edge of the cliff and jump because there's probably a plateau just below you. So don't be scared about it. Yeah, I call it the side gig effect. You know, if you've got the nine to five and you've always dreamt of it, go do the side gig. There's so much stuff that you can do mm-hmm. that money to start running. I always ask people, you know, when they ask me, it's like, well, how do you do it? How does first thing I ask them, well, what do you do on the weekends? What do you do literally from 5 p.m. until 7 a.m. on Monday morning? You know, 5 p.m. on a Friday, Friday evening to, to uh, Monday, you know, 7 a.m. What, what is it that you do? Or say, oh, you know, well, I watch football and I watch this. And I'm like, well, that's exactly the problem is your focus. Where are you focusing your time? What are you doing to, to get out of the nine to five rut? If you're not doing anything about it, then you can't really complain about it. And if you do complain about it, you're just a complainer and you're not a doer. So change, shift the mindset, start changing your actions, start implementing, uh, but do something. There's so many ways of doing it, you know, uh, and it amazes me how people just, they want, 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 but they're not willing to implement and do. Mm-hmm. And it's, uh, you, you know, they have, to, they have to figure it out eventually, either the hard way or they never figure it out at all. Yeah, and so much of this, you know, it's, it's learned behavior from our parents. It's from our teachers. It's from people that we went to school with. We learn it from people that we work for, you know, our employers. We, we learn it from our coworkers. And, you know, a lot of people are listening to the wrong people. And, you know, they're, they're buying into, you know, that – that big lie mentality that, you know, this is the way you're supposed to do it. And it, well, those are, that's being told to them by people who don't have the success. So if you want to really know the secret to life, you know, hang around with some people that, that already have what you want and, and listen to what they're doing because, you know, that's going to be the difference. Oh, definitely. Definitely. I would call it play your own game. There was a, a good mentor of mine that I learned from his name is Matt trainer. He, he coined the phrase, play your own game. And the guy is just, it's, it's just, it's like he took me and he unplugged me from the system mm-hmm. and he, he just woke me up and it was the whole matrix type situation, you know, <laughs> red or the blue world, you can choose to stay asleep or you can wake up and look at reality and see what it is and start questioning everything in reality and start questioning what you're doing and really why you're here and what you want to do with the remaining time you have while you're unplugged from the system. It's such a beautiful thing when, when I, I train people or, or I, educate them on this and show them how to unplug and truly that, that shift, that mindset shift. And it's just, ah, oh, that's just one of the most amazing things when they're just waking up like a newborn and it's just, <laughs> it's beautiful to see. They, they, it's like every other vision, everything, they, the sense of smell, everything is different, mm-hmm. you know, because it belongs to them now. It truly belongs to them now. It's, right. it's easy. Yeah. And that's when they get hungry. You know, once they wake up, it's like, okay, now I'm hungry. Yeah. And they go out and they, they want that buffet. They, you know, they don't want just, you know, the scraps from the table. They, they want the entire buffet and you know, they, they get hungry. And that's when other training, like I said, like our digital marketer specialist course, I was like, that's yeah. why I created it. Now they need guidance. Now they need to go somewhere. Now they need to implement. Now they need to do. Uh, so I just happened to choose something like that, uh, to start off with, for the simple fact that for me, it was a, a lot, it's a lot of veterans want to be business owners. A lot of people want to be business owners in general. So why not help them guide them? You know, sure. I've been fortunate to learn from some of the best in the business and, and, you know, people talk about, well, I can say that I work probably 40 hours a month and I, I do what I want when I want and I can travel and, and I've created that life. It wasn't always like that, but I created it because that's what I was told that I could do. So mm-hmm. I really believe that people can do that as well, you know, and I want to show them how, and I do show them how. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What the five inches between our ears is the space that tells us what we can't do. So I have to stop thinking about that, you know, stop listening to that space and, and start, you know, start doing something different because the only thing that's holding us back is us. You know, other people aren't holding you back. You know, it's your, it's your own limitations. It really is. It's a, it's a, it's amazing. And fear, fear can be very paralyzing. And, uh, you've got to, you've got to conquer your fears. You've got to just face them, uh, and say, man, I, I don't like to speak in public places. Go try it. Go try it. Go do, go do a live, a live feed. Go, go, go live on Facebook. Uh, create a video and put it out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pick something uh, to talk about. It's amazing what happens. You know, you're like, oh, that wasn't so bad. Exactly. It wasn't bad at all. So let's, let's create some more. Yep. You know, I it's love that. that. It's that mind What's trash. That? It's that mind yeah. trash. You know, that, that's telling you, oh, I can't do that. It's, who says? 
You know, who says you can't do that? You know, all of the greatest people, the most heroic people, people that have achieved the most in life, you know, they, they were people that did not listen to, I can't. You know, they're like, why not? You know, they, they were put on this earth with the why not mentality. And that's, that's all we have to get to. Yeah, no, definitely. And, and you know, what are the other, what are the last things that I want to talk about or just say real quick is people, you know, um, I used to believe in the, in the hustle and grind and I still do, you know, a lot of people are like, Oh, you don't need that lifestyle. Like, what people don't understand about that mentality uh, a lot of times is that it's meant to, to show you that you things aren't just going to be given to you. You have to earn it. And, and, and the hustle and the grind is, is really, Really about how much, how bad you want it, how fast you want it, and what you're willing to do to get it, right? And so, for, for example, me, I, I, I sold everything. I moved in with my mentor. I wanted to learn everything there was about email marketing. I learned and learned and learned until now. I basically email over a million people daily, and I run newsletters. I create content, but I got there because I wanted that. I wanted to start learning, right? So now, my mentor became a client. Right. And, Absolutely. and so it's amazing how I went from that to that to now we're partners now, you know, I dabble in other, other areas, but it's beautiful how that shift happened within a matter of four years. But that's what I mean is the hustle, the grind, you know, the, the people, oh, you don't know, you have to have that mindset because you need to create build for you. And then later on, you can, you can even it out by saying, you know what, I've learned so much. I'm still learning that now I can go at this pace and, and it's like people in the military trying to get promoted, right? Mm -hmm. You're doing all these things, that get promoted, getting good, you know, physical fitness tests, the scores, everything. Right. And, 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 and you know, at, at some point you're like, well, okay, I've made gunny or I've made mass sergeant or I've gotten the rank or maybe you're getting ready to retire. You're like, oh, okay, well, I've, I've hit my mark. I know where I want to be. This is where I want to end up. Mm -hmm. And you're happy with it. But it's you. You're the one that pushed. You're the one that hustled. You're the one that put it all out there. And you wanted it, right? And so that's what I tell people is, you know, um, I believe in the hustle and grind that eventually evens out later on when you have that, you have that experience. You now know what it takes. And, and, and so now if somebody wants you to, you know, they ask, hey, could you mentor me? It's like, well, understand this is what it takes. This is what it takes to, to make, right? Nothing's given to you for free. Nobody's going to hand out uh, success. You've got to earn it. That's right. <clears throat> so how would you say that, uh, you know, besides the things you mentioned, uh, how would you say that your personal values or belief systems have played into your business and to be able to reach the point where you're at today? Well, you know what? I truly believe that uh, you've got to take, you've got to have people's best interests, uh, especially you've got to have their best interests at heart, especially with clients. You know, for example, um, I do things a little differently in the sense that, and I, I don't know, this is just me, how I do business, but, you know, to build trust and rapport with clients, I like to dive into their why. I like to dive into their, why did you have, why do you have this business? What is it you want from them? I, I want to learn them. And then that helps me learn their, their customer base, their clients. I want to understand what they want out of this whole thing. Because it's interesting. I've had clients where they're like, I don't really know why the hell I'm doing this. It's like, well, maybe you should think about that before you start spending money on advertising and doing all this stuff. And people are like, man, you're crazy. That could have been an easy, you know, three grand, four grand. No, it's not easy because my goal is not to take people's money. My goal is to, to treat their money like it's my money and, and, and to help them understand how to improve their, their business, which they're in turn will improve their life. But really more dive deep into, man, are you doing what you love? Are you, are, is it working for you? Is this truly where your passion is? I can tell. And so one of the things that I, I want to provide is that value of, of, I'm not here for the money. I'm, I'm here to really serve you and see how I can make your life better. Um, and that's how I approach all my business deals, all my new, uh, 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 you know, I meet new people. Like I said, I just want to help. And if that means that I need to help you from yourself, then so be it. You know, especially when it comes to marketing, especially when it comes to, to business, right. you know, because it's so important. I want them to succeed. You know, I want those wins. You know, I want to be able to say, man, you know what? That's a $20 million company. And I help grow that. That's what I want. That's beautiful to me. You know? Yeah. No, <clears throat> and nobody can take that from you. 
you know, that, that's, that's yours. Wow. And 